I say the difference between somebody being successful in the gym and somebody who's not, somebody gets the gains and somebody who doesn't, apart from the very obvious that some people just can't seem to get the, the hang of. They get things, uh, they get priorities messed up, right? They go, oh man, I got this going. Um, it's, it's, it's more important. Uh, no, if, it's, if somebody's not in the hospital or something, it's probably not more important. Um, there are a few exceptions, to, you know, to policy where you can't make it, right? And uh, that's one thing. So, but other than that, you gotta find a way to get in there, okay? It's gotta be priority number one. Because if it's priority number anything else, it's, it's easy to push it back, right? Because it's easy to get, put family first, God first, and things that you're supposed to put first. Those are automatically gonna stay in front, right? Those are gonna be the front runners automatically. So what comes in number three, okay? You gotta superficially make it like it's number one, okay? Even though God and family is, you almost have to flip it so that people almost think that it, you put it before God and family, right? Because otherwise you're gonna make an excuse and not do it. Fair enough? So, that's the difference there. The other difference, people show up sometimes, but that's all they do. They show up, they go through the motions, day in, day out, never change, never change, never change, never change. The ones who do, they're the ones that fucking go till the pain hits, and then they start counting, right? Like Muhammad Ali did, right? In the 70s. So, they, they say, hello, when the pain says hello, okay? And they will not say goodbye until they can't do it anymore. Then they'll let go, right? So that's the difference right there. And the coward and the, and the hero, the difference between him is the, the hero, he'll, he'll go just uh, bolster the wall and do what he's got to do, even though he's just as scared of the one who runs away, right? But he takes action in spite of it. That's why he's the hero, whether he makes it out of the fire alive or, or whatever he's doing, um, he gets shot or not when he tries to say it, you know, save somebody. Still, in my opinion, that's a hero because he he took a bullet, right, for somebody else, or he died in the fire, he drowned, or whatever it is, to try to save somebody else. Now, are there safer ways to do things? I mean, smarter ways? Sure, right? If you, you first thing you got to do, obviously, make sure somebody's going to call 911, and you say, fire, 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 911, 911, whether it is a fire or not, it's an emergency, people are going to start calling the phone, on the phone. If you say, help, 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 nobody's going to call, unless you're lucky. So don't ever say help, say, fire, 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 call 911, call 911, right? Then they're going to do that. Fair enough? Then then you can take action. Can you stick a branch out there and pull them in the water, right? Or you you really got to jump in and try to save them? Because sometimes you just get, both get pulled down. So that's the last resort, right? got to go through all your other options first. And uh, then you got... Then you got knuckleheads like me that doesn't apply, so I can't really teach this to you because if you're either scared or you're not, so if you hear the sirens and you're running towards them instead of away from them because that's your instinct, but you're not scared, then it's something you can't really teach, right? But you can teach, take action in spite of it and stuff, and that'll kind of save you because I did some stupid shit. I jumped in the freaking water and not even paid attention to it when a guy went and he crossed through two lanes of traffic, right, and he went into the river, right, and it's fucking February, it's fucking cold outside, and there's snow and shit on the bank, and, uh, and lucky as hell that it, that it wasn't frozen, and, uh, he went down into the water, his truck and everything, because he had a, he had a seizure, and he, he went in there, right, so I fucking jumped in there without even thinking, right, fucking cold as shit, right, and then I fucking drift downstream, my motherfucker, so I had to go down, and they're like, they pulled me aside, they go, hey, you gotta go over there, there's a big, line of people, there are a bunch of people trying to help, right, you gotta, you gotta swim down that way, and take it at an angle, right, and I did that, and then missed the first time, came back third time, okay, finally, as I'm coming out, somebody's finally getting the, they've been at this for a while, right, there was only one guy that was actually able to snag onto the truck, right, and then bust the window open, and he was able to pull the guy out, and as he's pulling him out, we both grabbed onto him, and the third guy was swimming out, so the three of us put him, you know, Swam him to shore and then, you know, put him up there and and uh, got him some help. But, uh, you know, sometimes just jumping in the water isn't the smartest thing, right? Um, I've watched too many, you know, but I, I got my education for watching movies, and that's what Van Damme does, and Art Schwarzenegger and The Rock and John Cena. They just, they don't think about it. They just take action. They just go kick the bad guy's ass, and they help people, and, and that's how they do it. And so, that's, fine. that's what I did, because that's how I've been trained. So, it is what it is. But anyways... It's been showtime. Showtime should have finished over here. Size, growth, get big.